So you get OBS settings downloaded to your Mac and now you're stuck on what settings to use. I got you, right after this. Welcome back to Black Scorpion Gaming. Today I'll be showing you my settings that I use on my Mac with OBS software. So let's get right into it. By now you should have already downloaded OBS and set it up and have this screen open. What you want to do next is go to settings. For my general settings here, I left everything at default. The language English, theme dark, stream, you want to go uh, switch this up to wherever you're streaming to, whether it be YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, Restream, all that good stuff. This is where you would do it. Uh, your server, I have mine at the default setting at auto, but you have the option to go in here and switch that around if you like. I highly recommend leaving it on auto. Stream key, uh, if you're on this, if you're trying to stream, this is where you would put your stream key here. Uh, from whether it be from YouTube or Twitch or wherever you're streaming to, this is where you would get the, you would put the stream key in here. Uh, for the output, you want to leave the audio track on one and call the X264, and you want to check mark here where it says enforce streaming service encoder settings. Okay, just basically copy what I have on the screen right here. Rate control, CBR, bitrate 2500. And for my CPU, I use very fast, but you have the option as well to go in here and switch it around. Super fast or ultra fast, but I find that very fast works pretty good for me. So I have mine on very fast. Okay. Let's go to recording. In the recording section, I have a standard. You want to put where you're recording your videos to. So on mine, I have my named YouTube Clips. You can name it whatever you want yours to be. Okay, the recording format, I have it as MP4. A lot of people have theirs on FLV, but I find that MP4 works the best for me, so I'm gonna keep it right there. Encoder X264. And on the rescale output, I have 1280 by 720p, okay? In rate control, CBR, bit rate, 30,000, okay? You can leave that, you can play around with this number if you like, but like I said, this works perfect for me, okay? And again, the CPU, very fast. Profile, just left it alone, if there's none, um, just copy what I have on my screen. For the audio, I left the default settings as well. It's at 160, 160, 160, all the way down. Nothing's changed. And for the replay buffer, nothing. Don't touch that, leave it alone. For the audio, I switched my, it was on 44.1, I switched it to 48 for the sample rate. So, switch it to 48. Okay, the channel should be already on stereo. Leave it there, uh, over here. Desktop audio disabled, desktop audio 2 disabled, and right here I use the Yeti mic. So this is where you want to set up which mic you want to use to talk into. So I'm using the Yeti and that's why you see Yeti right here. Okay. Or, uh, mic auxiliary audio 2, 3 and 4, leave it all disabled. Let's copy what you see on my screen. I have it set up as fast here, the decay rate, peak meter type, sample peak, monitoring device at default, okay. And let's go to the video. Now this is where you guys want to play a little bit with this, but let me say this right here, it's the best. Um, I mean, I've tried every other settings and this one worked pretty good for me. Works, actually not work, works pretty good for me. Um, so I have it for the base canvas. I have it at uh, 1080, 920 by 1080, and then I have the 720 right below it for the output. I mean, it's not too bad for what I'm running here. Um, scale. 
I'm using the, a lot of people use the bicubic, but I'm using the, I don't even know how to pronounce that word, the Lang Langsos, I don't know, but that one. Okay, and then I'm running 60 FPS right here. For the hotkeys, you could play with that. I'm, I didn't do anything in here, so this is not very important. And uh, for advanced, I didn't touch anything in here either. Everything stayed the same, so I would recommend not touching it either, okay? And as you can see, in real time, my PlayStation is on, okay? Let me turn this controller on here. Sliding up, as you can see, and there's a little bit of a delay, maybe a second or two, but it's pretty smooth. So, I hope this video helped you in some small way. If it did, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I hope to see you again on the next Black Scorpion Gaming tutorial. We'll